Yo, what's happening guys and welcome to a brand new Modern Warfare video. Today I want to cover all of the information that came out yesterday with the Game Informer Infinity Ward interview. It, the interview was about an hour and ten minutes long and there's a ton of information in here to do with crossplay, killstreaks, campaigns, spec ops, battle royale, all the different game modes and multiplayer, microtransactions, there was an absolute ton of stuff here so I'm going to try and condense this down to about a 10 minute video and give you guys all of the information that you guys need to know. If you guys do enjoy today's video and if you're excited for Modern Warfare, drop a like into this video, subscribe if you're brand new if you want to be kept up to date with all this kind of stuff and also whenever the game releases in October, I live in Japan so I'm going to be able to play this game about 15 or 18 hours early so definitely stay tuned for some early gameplay on this whenever it first releases. But without any further ado guys, I'm going to hop into campaign and spec ops first. This is where the least amount of information is. There's a ton of information about multiplayer so we'll cover that at the end. So to do with campaign they talked about Captain Price and there will be some characters returning from the original Modern Warfare franchise. It's going to be a different actor so it's going to have a different voice and a different look but they're trying to keep him true to his old style. So the character will be like Captain Price but he won't look and sound the same. The campaign will be a similar length to most Modern Warfare games so if I'm not mistaken 5, 6, 7 hours, something like that. A lot of people are asking will there be new missions or remakes of old Modern Warfare missions because as you guys know this is a reimagining of the Modern Warfare series hence why it's just called Modern Warfare and not Modern Warfare 4. They said that the uh, campaign will have all new missions, there will not be any Call of Duty 4 missions in there but it's going to have the same type of fame that Call of Duty 4 did have in the campaign. There's going to be campaign gameplay and spec ops soon which will probably be after the multiplayer beta. They said that they have a measured and planned rollout and there will be no demo for this game so you can't like play one mission and see what it's like. A couple of other things that they talked about was they had some tier 1 operators in like talking to them about real life missions and stuff like that and they took a lot of inspiration from how those missions actually go down with the type of intel that they have and it's going to be very very realistic. Now one very important feature about the campaign, a lot of you guys heard a lot of controversy from sources such as IGN and stuff saying that the campaign was too brutal. They confirmed that they did not change the campaign because of that feedback. They're going to stay true to their own vision and I think that's absolutely amazing. I'm actually really excited for this campaign. Let me know if you guys will play that. Maybe on day one I will upload episode one of the campaign and I should upload that about 15 or 16 hours earlier then you guys will be able to see it. So if you guys do want to stay tuned for that, like I said, hit that subscribe button. As far as spec ops goes, the only question that was really asked was will there be a Modern Warfare free survival type mode? And they said no comment and it's going to have its own time where they're going to reveal a campaign and spec ops. Now hopping into multiplayer, there's an absolute ton of information here. They talked a little bit about Battle Royale, which obviously I've been covering a lot on the channel. Now, they said the answer is the same as last time. Basically, we love Battle Royale. Now, one of the developers, I think he was trying to hint at there being a Battle Royale mode. He was saying, well, our multiplayer will have this and this and this. It'll have 2v2, ground war. Our multiplayer will have all of this stuff. I think he was trying to kind of insinuate that Battle Royale will be in the multiplayer menu. Which according to all of the leaks that have came out, Battle Royale will be located within multiplayer. Now moving on to Ground War, there's a ton of new information for this. Ground War will actually be available in the beta and they're aiming to have a 64 player game mode in Ground War. They're looking at 100 players for the Ground War and maybe even beyond that. The maps are going to be 3 to 4 times the size of their biggest ever maps in multiplayer. Whenever they were asked about how many maps there will be, they said that they were working on at least another one but they don't want to confirm how many maps there will be, so it's safe to assume that there'll be like at least three or four, I would say. Now going on to the maps here, there will be no old maps at launch, but there probably will be in DLC. So what they actually said was they have made a real effort to keep the game new and fresh, so they didn't want to redo the campaign. They wanted to make it fresh and new, and likewise with multiplayer. We're not going to see a bunch of old maps like Black Ops 4 on launch, but he did say that he was talking to the map designer and he said, oh, I could have done all of this stuff so much better with these maps. So they're definitely looking at older maps like hopefully Terminal and some of the better Modern Warfare maps to come in as post-launch content. But I think that's really, really promising considering how much recycled content we had on BO4. I think having an all-new game is going to be very, very exciting. Now post-launch content is something that they said they're going to be very aggressive and they've got a very aggressive update strategy with this. There's going to be new weapons added to the game post-launch and they're looking at ways that they can add new weapons for Gunsmith. So if you like put on certain attachments and remove certain things, you can make a new weapon. Same as, you know, for example, you take off the stock and stuff and you can make an AK-74U out of an AK-47 and likewise you can turn it into an RPD. They're looking at different ways to add weapons and hopefully that will be something exciting as well. I think now would be a good time to talk about microtransactions. 
They said that they couldn't really comment on it, but they said that they wanted to be consumer friendly and they basically just want us to get our hands on the new content. They're heavily indicating that it's not going to be pay to win like Black Ops 4 basically, where you know you have to open a thousand loot boxes to get whatever weapon you want. They're really really trying to, I feel like, nudge us in the direction of saying that, you know, they can't say exactly what the strategy will be, but they're definitely, and it's very important to them that it is consumer friendly. So hopefully that means no more like loot box DLC guns, hopefully it's something that will be released for everybody. You guys might hear my son in the background going like Purr! So if you guys can hear that in the background, I'm sorry. Hopefully that doesn't pick up on the mic. Now for post-launch content, they talked about adding um, a lot more 2v2 maps. They're talking about adding new game modes and different modifiers to different game modes. So hopefully that means there will be a lot of LTMs and a lot of new game modes upon launch. They did say they want to go aggressively with it, so hopefully that means loads of new maps, loads of new 2v2 maps, uh, loads of new weapons, lots of stuff in Gunsmith. And they talked a little bit about camos here, saying that the camos are going to be realistic. They're not going to be unicorn rainbow skins, more realistic gun skins to keep in fame with the entire game. So it's going to be unlike Black Ops 4 where you get like rainbow unicorn SERs and stuff like that. It is going to be completely different. They talked a little bit about the Tamagotchi watch, which basically whenever you get a kill streak, your watch will change. I think it's called Gonagotchi or something like that. I'm sorry, I didn't actually write the name down. But that's going to be a cool little feature and you will be able to unlock those also. If you guys didn't notice this yet, if you look at your watch when you're playing, it'll tell you what time is on your PlayStation. So definitely next time you guys get your hands on the game, look at the watch and look at the time. It's exactly the same. Those are the little attention to detail things that I really love about this game so far. Now, they said that ranked play will be in the game, but may not be out at launch, and they're still figuring out what maps and so on are going to be in competitive, like Call of Duty competitive. In the kill in the beta, all kill streaks will be available. And they said that there were at least two kill streaks that were not shown yet. Now we can only speculate what these are going to be, but we've seen a nuke or something that looked like a nuke in the trailer. So I would love it if they added an actual game ending nuke. Maybe make it like a 30 kill streak with your gun only, make it, you know, not as easy to get as Modern Warfare 2. But if they added a nuke or a MOAB back, that would be absolutely awesome. Thinking about what kind of kill streaks are not in the game, I don't think we have like a strafing run in the game yet. We don't have anything like attack dogs or like a swarm, for example. One of those types of kill streaks that swarms the map or something like a strike team. So I do suspect they'll add something like that. There's a possibility they could add something like an EMP. They confirmed that there are more kill streaks in the game. And we may be able to see them in the beta, but we may not be able to use them. So we will have to wait and see about that. Let me know what kill streaks you guys would like to see. Now, looking at the 2v2 tournament system, it's going to be 16 teams, and you can win stuff like skins and calling cards, and some secret maps will be added after launch. There'll be a new twist when you reach max prestige, and you can level up your normal weapons and stuff for doing the 2v2. It's integrated with multiplayer, so you can get XP from playing 2v2. When you reach max prestige, they've done something different and it will change up post-launch. Now this is a bit of a biggie here, they're looking at skilled matchmaking. They said that they're looking at a balance between lower skill players not matching against pros all the time, and like let's say like 10th prestige not always matching against 10th prestige. They're trying to find a balance where people who play the game for the first time aren't going to get absolutely stomped and just leave. At the same time, they don't want to make lobbies really sweaty for higher skill players or higher prestige players, so they are looking at that. They said they're definitely looking at doing more status related camos, so if you've played the game for a long time, you'll be able to get camos that will not be available to anybody else in any other way. Weapons in the game will be unlocked through leveling up, and attachments will be unlocked as you level your weapon up. There will be little XP bubbles that you can get to, which will give you extra XP for doing certain challenges with the attachments. Now moving on to crossplay here, there's going to be aim assist if you're playing against a PC player. There's going to be an option to disable matchmaking against different platforms. So if you want to not play against PC players no matter what, you can do that. If you want to only play on PS4 or only play on Xbox, you can do so. If you play with a PC player, you will need to unlock it and make sure that you're able to match against PC players so that you can go into PC lobbies. And they're also looking at ways to disable Zim users. So there's adapters that you can put on your PlayStation 4 like Zims and stuff, um, which will allow you to use mouse and keyboard and the PlayStation will register it as a controller. They're looking at ways to facilitate removing that type of thing, meaning that people using Zims will also match against PC players. They're also looking at cross-platform leveling up. So for example, if you play on PC, you get to level 50. You can go onto your PlayStation 4 and continue that. You can also add friends from different consoles and different platforms by using a central COD username. So there'll be like an Activision username type of thing where everybody on every platform makes it and you can invite people through that. Obviously having a party chat will be difficult, 
but um, a lot of us use Discord anyway. So definitely recommend you guys getting Discord on your computer. The game will run well on PS4 Slim, it's going to be smooth. It may or may not come out on PS5, they said they haven't confirmed that, and they said that Weapon Inspect may come in. Now finally, they're looking at Hardcore, so there's a realism game mode where obviously it's like a one shot kill, there's no hit markers, it's dark, you use a laser sight and stuff like that. They said they're looking at a new system for Hardcore and how that's matched up and there will be a new and interesting way to play Hardcore apparently. And yeah, that's basically all of the info that they, they dropped out. I wanted to make this quick video for you guys so that you can get all of the info as quickly as possible, digest it easily and not have to watch an hour and 10 minutes. I'll leave a link to that video in the description if you guys do want to watch it. They talked about all of their inspirations and lots of different things, so it, it was a very interesting video to watch. Definitely will leave a link to that in the comments or down in the description down below. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like. Uh, let's go for 200 likes on this brand new Modern Warfare video. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and don't forget to ring that notification bell. And finally, comment down below which of these things are you most excited to see in Modern Warfare. Personally, I cannot wait to see the new kill streaks and I'm really excited to see if there will or will not be a Battle Royale mode. I think there will, I'm very very confident that it will come, but I think they're looking to market it correctly. I think it may come after launch, they'll let, they'll give multiplayer campaign and spec ops some room to breathe and then release Battle Royale later. That's my personal opinion on what will happen, do let me know in the comments down below. But that is it guys, thank you for watching, this has been King Plays. good luck and peace out. Oh, get turned on, baby. Let's go. My teammate's like sitting in my pocket and it's just annoying.